Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave them the jewels, they set it up, I got them on it. I bought a new bag, I had the one, so I'm too toned up. Taking these jewels, I'm gonna be up until the morning. It ain't the car, you just at least you don't own it. I look real rough. I feel like I've been starting these last few vlogs off looking real rough. But we're about to get it together, okay? So today is Sunday, November 14th. And I'm actually getting ready to go to brunch now. I'm going to brunch with some of my friends that I haven't seen in a while. So I'm really excited about this outing. So I'm about to get ready because I'm actually running late. Even though I woke up early. But that's besides the point. But before we get into this vlog, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below. And join the family because we're doing lit things over here. Period. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. So I just showered. I am running late. It's currently 10, 11. And we made reservations for 12. And y'all know I live in the boondocks, so... We're trying this. Hold on, let me put you out here so I could get ready and talk. Multitask. We love that. We're going to this vegan restaurant I've been meaning to try. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Last week I was eating like crab because of multiple things. But that's besides the point. I'm getting my life back together. My battery is dying. What is going on? But yeah, we're going to this vegan restaurant. Um, It's called Laundry in the Back. It's a lot going on, y'all. It's called Urban Vegan Kitchen, and I've been meaning to go there for a while, and I was like, let's go. Even though I think I'm the only person who follows, well, whatever, a vegan diet. So, yeah, we're going there, and I'm about to do my little 10-minute makeup look. If y'all didn't see that video, I'll link it up above. But, yeah, the only thing I'm changing is my foundations. So, I'll show y'all when I get to that step. But let's hurry up and beat this face. So for foundation, I'm going to mix my Huda Beauty gingerbread foundation this is the one that i showed you guys in my 10 minute full coverage makeup look this is gingerbread 430n i'm gonna mix it with my nars natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade macau and i feel like the mix of these two stunning perfect so i put two pumps of the macau and two pumps of the huda a pump and a half of the Huda because the Huda lets out a lot at one time. So, this is how the two shades look, just so y'all know. So, the lighter one is the Huda, and I take my, my brush at, uh, oh, I take my canvas by Kimmelina brush, my favorite brush to apply my foundation with. You gonna focus or not? Yeah, this is that girl, black owned brush, and it blends amazing, so I just take some of that. Look at my brow pencil. Like... I'm about to go outside like this <laughs> no matter how early i wake up i swear i'm always late like <sighs> but i'm getting ready i wanted to show you guys something real quick so i got these things from amazon they're like little foot jellies i'm not even gonna show y'all me putting them on because my feet look crazy but i'm wearing my dr martin jadon boots today and i haven't worn them for a long period of time but kim said they hurt so that's what she uses to help with the her. So I got some too. I'll have the link down below. And then I'm just going to put my socks on top of them. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and head out now so I can low key be on time. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all when I get there.
What's yeah. Taking picture or video? It's a video. Oh shit. Start over. <laughs> 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 well, I'm supposed to, I, I get camera shy. I don't, nope. know what I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. What? Hey girl. Sorry. Are you ready? Research. I'm getting. I'm getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the bus. You're like a fool. One, two. Okay, get out good angle. Eat whatever. One, two. Yeah. And that shit was bright. <laughs> Monday today is a Monday November 15th payday y'all know I'm always on it for payday okay but I woke up early this morning I worked out gotta set the tone for the week you can't miss Mondays period and I'm just here trying to get my life together trying to plan my week so this week I have my facial today I'm getting a chemical peel so I'll be peeling throughout the duration of this vlog tomorrow I need to I'm getting a pedicure finally after three whole months. I'm getting a pedicure. And I need to go grocery shopping and I need to go to the store to get like new bedding. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. But I told y'all last week's vlog that the guy was supposed to come fix the shoe part of my closet. And he never came. So I'm taking matters into my own hand and I'm about to book me a Task Rabbit. So in case you guys don't know, Task Rabbit is an app you can go on. And you can just find people to do like anything to help you move, to walk your dog, to put like things up for you, like mount stuff. And they charge per hour. So I'm trying to find an experienced person who can mount things because also we bought my mom a new TV and she wants to get it mounted in the living room. So the same task driver who's going to mount my shelves is going to mount her TV too. And that's going to be that because young sir, the other guy. I don't know what's going on with him on um, friday he called me he's like oh i could come anytime and then i'm texting him and the bubbles is turning green like what are you doing like <laughs> but yeah so and it sucks because like i referred him to so many people so i'm like i hope he's not doing that same thing to other people that i referred him to but you know his business literally his business but yeah i'm about to go ahead and book this task rabbit and I think I'm going to just tell them to come tomorrow so that I can have enough time to move my stuff in my closet and just have my room together. Because right now, my room is a mess. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm about to shower, brush my teeth and all of that because I'm fresh off my workout. And then I will check back in with you guys once I'm getting ready to head to Brooklyn for my facial appointment. But I just wanted to check in real quick and give you guys an update on that. So... Hey guys so i am actually running late i'm about to head out to head to my facial appointment i literally put on whatever like i just wanted to be comfortable warm cozy so yeah i'll probably show you guys my outfit when i get there but yeah let's head out now before i am late late not late but late late <laughs>
It's the new cozy couch for me. But I just got to Cynthia's. I'm waiting to get my face shoes so y'all can see the before of my skin. We're doing a chemical peel today, so. Y'all know me. I always have my little packed meal. I'm about to eat real quick before my appointment. It's um, Penny, Beyond Me, and Broccoli. Oh yeah, no major new breakouts. Mm -hmm. Yay, okay, good. So what would the booster do? It helps to accelerate the prep, mm -hmm. better in the skin. So when we put the peel on, mm -hmm. The peel, you you gonna feel the because the three peels I did, everybody was like, wait, is this different? Mm -hmm. it was the same thing, but I added that booster, mm. and I'm gonna add something different to the pre-treatment too. Okay. The fact that ooh, it's 6 p.m. and it's this this dark is really beyond me. I look like a freaking grease ball, but I'm about to head back to the Bronx, so I'll see y'all home. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday. I got my facial done yesterday, as you guys saw. I just feel flustered this morning, and here's why. One, I feel like I have a million things to do today. Two, I feel like I have a million things to do today. And three, I feel like I have a million things to do today, <laughs> which I do, but I'm just trying to pace myself so I don't feel stressed out. That's why I said flustered, but I just put on my lip balm. You guys know I've been loving this Biosant lip balm. Is it focused? Can y'all see? Because I need y'all to see this thing. So freaking good. And I just shared some links that I've been meaning to share my stories for a while. Um, ASOS and Nordstrom just dropped, I don't want to say their collection. I think it's like limited pieces. Like the pieces on Nordstrom you can't get on ASOS's website. But I just shared those in my stories. And I also shared some items that I found on sale at Essence that I feel like people would enjoy. So if you guys missed that, make sure you guys check the links highlight on my Instagram feed at Kinesthetic underscore. But let me tell y'all what happened because yesterday I was just like over it. So I ordered these boots from Ukes. I spoke to you guys by Ukes and I forgot who it was. One of my subscribers told me like, yeah, my mom or my aunt orders from Ukes. So I ordered from them. 
I got a couple wool fur pieces from them. They are legit. So I went ahead and I was like, Yuke's is going to be my new place to shop. So I ordered these boots and they came yesterday. I was so high. Came home from my esthetician appointment. Like my boots is in my house. I'm about, to, I'm about to try my boots on once I get home. Girl, my foot could not go in. I didn't even record it and I didn't even like take pictures of it i'll show you guys like here how they look but i love them i wanted the alexander vothier i think that's how you pronounce it boots but i'm not willing to spend that much on boots that i know i'm not going to wear as often they're not really practical boots they're more like trendy boots you know they go with certain outfits but you ain't gonna wear them 1700 times or have them as your core so i'm just like i can't see myself paying that much so i was like oh these boots are a cute alternative for those boots these boots are from cassidy i think that's the brand cassidy and they were like 400 dollars. i'll link them down below in case you guys want them but if you have a narrow foot sure get them but if you have a wide foot like me girl buyer beware do not get them they have no zip and i should have knew that was a red flag no zip on a boot is a huge red flag for a girl who got a thick foot like me okay so those i need to send back i actually need to pack them they're already packed for returns when i need to return something y'all know i'll be on it it'd be in the box wrapped up return label sealed and ready to return to the sender so i did all of that yesterday i'm about to put it in the wagon and bring it to the ups drop off point near my house and then i'm going to shayla because i need a pedicure i told you guys i haven't got a pedicure for three months so i'm going to get that done today because it needs to get done and then the task rabbit is coming today as i mentioned yesterday i ordered a task rabbit to fix the shelves the shoe shelves in my closet because they are about to come down down baby <laughs> and i don't have the time for that so he's coming at 4 30 so once i finish my pedicure i have to come home move everything here all of my shoe boxes and all of that so that he can have space to work and then i also wanted to go grocery shopping today but i don't think that's gonna happen so if anything we'll do that tomorrow but I've just been so flustered. Jeez. Oh, I did want to talk to you guys because on Sunday I went to brunch and I didn't speak to you guys after I came from brunch. So we went to Urban Vegan Kitchen, which is a black owned. I did not know it was black owned, but Cynthia told me during my appointment yesterday, like, yes, it's black owned. It's woman owned. And it's in the city. It's near like West Fourth area. I don't know what that area is called. The village, Green Village. I don't know. But the food was good. The vibes were good. I loved one particular thing about them so you know when you go to a restaurant you scan the qr code to see the menu basically it's like shopping online so you add things to your cart and then you check out and then they bring it to your table so i really love that especially like going out with the group you know sometimes one person be getting a surfing turf or somebody be getting 12 drinks and then it's like y'all split the bill and you end up paying way more than what you got but no baby you only pay for what you get and you don't have to worry about separate checks or semen cheap or whatever the case is because one thing about me is i like going out to eat but i also like going out to eat and spending a reasonable amount of money so i absolutely love that i feel like more restaurants definitely need to implement that but yeah so loved urban vegan kitchen and then after we went to like a bar and then i ended up coming home because i had stuff to do at home but yeah that was sunday monday you guys saw i went to go get my facial yesterday i did a chemical peel i did a revitalizing chemical peel and as you guys probably heard in the footage cynthia was considering doing the retinol peel on me i don't know if you guys remember i did that in february 2020 like right before the pandemic but my skin was like super dry so i don't know if it was the time of year or what but she was telling me that if i do the retinol peel it's gonna take like 14 days to recoup and also i came with a mask because the friction of the mask against my skin wouldn't be good so i'm just like but my skin ended up blanching with the revitalizing peel so she was like let's not do the retinol so i just did my regular revitalizing chemical peel because i have something exciting to do next week i don't want to speak about it yet so i was like no cynthia i need my skin to be looking good by the top of the next week so give me the regular because i know how to regular do my skin so that was yesterday did my facial came straight home and then once i came home i opened my boxes so the boots didn't fit got upset and went to sleep <laughs> not really but really <laughs> so i'm about to get ready now to head to the drop off point so let me go ahead and put some clothes on put my glasses on because your girl can't see nothing right now and yeah we're gonna go drop these boots off and go get our toes done
Okay, guys, so I am home. I'm home from getting my pedicure. Am I rude? But I'm home from getting my pedicure. Let me show you my toes. These are my toes. Do, 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 do. So it's currently like 3.40 and the test app is coming at 4.30 as I told you guys. So I have to basically move everything over here. Everything here. So I'm about to do that real quick so that he can have space. Because baby, test app is about an hour. So I need him to be in and out. Okay? In and out. Mulatto voice. But, oh, big lotto, sorry. I am going to do that real quick. Just so tired. And I still have to edit tomorrow's video, so... I'll set y'all up so y'all can watch. How did I never realize I have so many belts? Like, I have one week, one week time. For what? For why? I don't have half of these items anymore. I still have the box that my Alma BB came in. <sighs> this is garbage. So, let me show y'all what the problem is with my closet because i don't know if i ever showed y'all but i think if i okay sorry y'all my battery died but if i if i recall correctly i think i mounted this myself and your girl did a terrible job this is why you're not supposed to do things you don't know how to do if i don't know how to do something i'd rather just pay the money and have it done correctly but this was like when i first moved into this room which was like before college so let me show you boom so the whole thing is off the wall like it's not up securely so there's this big gap between the wall and the whatever this is called so that's hopefully gonna get fixed today so that this one i think is fine i don't know but i'm gonna tell him to check it because i just want this up and yeah I did also throw a good amount of boxes away, so I will definitely be able to store more shoes up here, which I'm hyped about because I had a lot of shoes, like, on the floor, so I'm going to go through. I think I'm going to have to keep both of my shoe racks. I know I told you guys in a previous vlog I was trying to consolidate, but your girl got some in shoes, okay? So, I'm definitely going to have to keep both shoe racks, I believe. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and move this shoe rack so that when he comes, he can just do what he got to do and dip out. Okay, so my closet is fixed finally. <laughs> so at the top, up there, I have like all my designer shoes and I have a pair of Sam Edelman boots and a pair of Uggs. So whenever I'm looking for like my designer shoes, I know to go here. Here I have Yeezys and some other like miscellaneous sneakers. And then here I have my Jordan 1s. I have my Dunks and a few other like pairs of sneakers and then on the shelves is still the same but i'm gonna i'm tired right now i'm gonna finish editing wednesday's video but i wanted to show you guys something real quick so i've been wanting a pair of julian hakes for so long but they're sold out like everywhere and if you don't know what julian hakes are i'll put 
a pair of them here i either wanted the cobalt blue or the pink but as i mentioned they're sold out everywhere i don't believe he has a website but there's a boutique that's in new orleans that sells his shoes or sold his shoes but they're like sold out like it's literally impossible to get a pair and i messaged them and they were like oh like production was like pushed back x y and z and i'm like hmm so I saw that Princess Reese had did a TikTok and she was showing how she has a real pair of Julian Hakes and then she got a pair from AliExpress or Amazon and basically like how it was the same thing. So I'm like, say less. So I went on Amazon and I did my little research and look what I found. Beautiful, right? Looks just like the real Johns. So this is a cute little luxury dupe. These were like 60 bucks, which is not bad at all and they fit so perfect i did get these in a size 39 so i'll put like what i clicked on the screen because i don't know if the amazon sizing was like european sizes or u.s sizes but i will put exactly what i selected in the description box down below as well as a link to these the link that i found where i bought these at they had the pink the white silver and another color and as I mentioned, they were $60. So I'm going to go try them on real quick because y'all got my toes done. So now I can show y'all shoes. Because before, baby, look at these. <laughs> I got these. Love them. Do what y'all got to do. The link is down below. <laughs> hey, you guys. It's a Wednesday. And my face just started peeling. So yeah, that's what's going on. It's Wednesday, November 17th, 17th, yeah. And my closet, it looks so much better. Let me show y'all. I don't remember what it looked like when I showed y'all yesterday, but this is it right now. Do, do, do. I need to figure out like something with my bags because I can't even like walk past here, but yeah. So, I need to go out today. But let me tell y'all what happened first. So yesterday I ordered, well... So yesterday, someone offered to get me DoorDash. I said, okay, cool. Because one thing about me is I'm never going to decline a meal, a free meal at that. So I went on DoorDash and I saw that Bronx Ale House had a vegan burger. So I'm like, cool, bet with sweet potato fries. Boom, perfect. So I made sure to tell the person to put a note saying that i'm allergic to dairy eggs and avocado because i don't eat dairy i don't eat eggs and i don't eat avocado boom 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 40 minutes of food comes food nice and warm i said okay doordash because uber eats whenever uber eats will bring your food frozen cold okay you will have to recook the meal when it gets here <laughs> so I was like, let me open the food, let me open the burger, see what they put on it. Because there was no details of like what was in the topping. So I'm like, let me go look. Why was there avocado smothered all over my burger? And why was the cheese on the burger not even vegan? Is it really a vegan burger? I'm confused. I need brands and restaurants and companies to stop slapping vegan on everything if they don't understand what vegan is. Because you don't know what people could really be allergic to. So I call the restaurant and I fake black because I'm like, this is an allergy. Like, it's noted as an allergy at this point. Like, you're liable for anything that happens because I told you guys, I communicated to you guys that it was an allergy and you guys still put it on the food. And they were just so, like, nonchalant about it. I'm just like, this is reason 55 why I don't need to be eating outside. But that's a whole nother conversation. So today's Wednesday. I need to go out. Let me put y'all up here real quick. Boom. Boom, boom. So today I need to go to Zara because I ordered. If you guys watch Wednesday's vlog, my New York City vlog, I told you guys I wanted to go to Zara to get this item that I saw Tiara Walker show. And when I went in the store, they didn't have it. So I ordered it online and I did pick up the store because it was less than $50. So I didn't want to pay for shipping. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure things are together. But I didn't want to pay for shipping, so I sent it to the store. And I just checked. They didn't even email me. Oh, they just emailed me at 11.50. Like, your item has arrived in store. So I have to go pick that up. I need to go grocery shopping. And I think that's it that I need to do. Yeah, I think that's about it. So... I'm going to get ready in a few. I need to send an invoice over because your girl got to get paid. 
one thing I don't play about is my mini. So we're gonna be my check. Thank you. I'm about to make this invoice and send it out. And just a side note, if you guys want to see how I make my invoices, what I use, then you guys can check out my day in the life of an influencer vlog, which I uploaded back in July, I want to say. But I showed y'all there everything that I use. So let me go ahead and do this real quick. Boom, I can check that off my to do It's nothing like being able to check something off your to-do list. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I love just checking, 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 checking. Boom, so that's done. And I'm about to get ready now. I don't know what's going on with my camera's on right now, but I'm about to do something with this hair. I'm going to wash my hair later when we get home, and I'll show you guys that. But my hair is a mess right now, so let me show y'all what I'm about to do. I'm using my TGIN Repair X gel, and I'm about to do a quick little puff. My face is really peeling. That's crazy. Let me moisturize my lips, because I be editing, and I'm like, girl, why was your lips so dry? Like, it's just crazy how on your peeling... Your face transforms within seconds. Like, I was just over there recording, telling y'all, oh, my face just started peeling. Boom. I take my gel. I take, like, this much. Oh, boom. And I slick my hair back. This gel smells so freaking good. Oh, my God. This gel... Does such a good job giving it here like a nice light hold. And I like to do the back too. In case somebody too close to me, you gotta make sure you look good from the back too, baby. Get them sides. Boom. Boom. And then I'm taking this brush that I got from the beauty supply store. This is an Annie brush. I'll have it linked down below because they have it on Amazon too. And I open my neck. And I'll just brush my hair back. And up. Get them edges. I take two scrunchies, just these basic elastic bands, and just wrap my hair once, pull it through, boom, and I like to make sure I pull like as much as possible to make my poof poofier as poofy as possible I like to be able to see my hairline a little and usually I'll do like twists at the end but yeah I'm just running to the mall and come right back and once I get back it's wash day so that's my little puff tutorial that's how it came out real cute quick hairstyle with an old twist out or wash and go whatever old style you have you could do this real quick and you look the fuck good yeah i just took so long to get ready but Fragrance today, I'm going to put on my Burberry Fruit Woman. Just put that on real quick. Boom. Let's go. Right there. Do it for my niggas and the ghost right there. Do it for my niggas and the ghost right now. Do it for my niggas and the ghost right now. Do it for my niggas and the ghost right now. 
gonna show y'all something real quick. You take your camera, you put it here, it opens the item. Boom. It's sold out. And this is a large. I think I could fit. Try it on. I'm about to run it up. All right, y'all, so I'm home. Somebody's blasting music outside, so hopefully you guys cannot hear it. But I wanted to show you guys what I picked up real quick from Zara and Forever 21. From Zara and Forever 21. So the whole reason I'm going out was because I told you guys that my Zara order that I shipped to the store was ready to pick up. And this was the item. So I told you guys in my NYC vlog that I saw this on Tiara Walker, and I was like, I need to have it. I did get it in a size medium because the size small was too small and your girl got a big old head. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it when I have my puff. Baby, what in the toupee is going on? But I would wear it when my hair is like in a low style. So you guys can get an idea of how it looks on head. You could fold this up too. And I also ordered it in black. So... Yes, I will have a link down below. I think this was $35.90, I want to say. So, I got it. And from Zara, I also got this set of bracelets. Super cute. These were $19.90. Y'all know I love me some Zara bracelets. And I got these earrings from Zara. Yeah, so these were $17.90. And then, and then, and then, I got a fragrance from Zara. So right before I watched, I left the house, I was watching Kyra's new video. And she was saying how um, Zara and Joe Malone did like more fragrances together. So I smelled some of them in store. They didn't have samples for all of them. So when I go downtown, I feel like I'll smell all of them. But I trust her judgment when it comes to fragrances. Because me and her, we right here, okay? Love me, Ebony Woods. If y'all have Ebony Woods, comment down below and let me know what y'all think about it. But she mentioned that this was the one that she liked the best from the new scents. This one is Energetically New York. And it's very fitting because you know where your girl is from? You know where your girl is from? Your girl is from New York, okay? So I was like... Let me see. So I picked up the... I don't know if it's the travel spray rollerball, but this was $5.90 and it was by the register. So I went ahead and picked it up. Please be a travel spray. Please be a travel spray. I don't like rollerballs. Of course it's a rollerball. It's going back. But it smells good. Let's see. Maybe 
Maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. It smells good. It smells like something that I smelled before. It does smell good. I'll put the notes of it on the screen because I had to look at it online and they did not have it on the box. So, yes. And it definitely said roll on ball. But you know your girl doesn't read. Also, I wanted to tell y'all before I forget that Zara has a new system in issuing your receipt. So, when you go in the Zara app, let me see if I can show y'all. So when you go in the Zara app, boom, we in. You click on your account, this little person, oops, this little icon at the bottom. That, and then you click on view my profile. And I'm not going to show my QR code, but a QR code pops up and it sends your receipt directly to your phone and then when you go like under purchases it says online and in-store purchases so you can click and see i don't want to show y'all my full screen because your girl got an order coming in the mail so that's what i got from zara that's what's new at zara um and now forever 21 so i was just browsing just browsing 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 you know what i do best i just be browsing 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 Mm. and i found some goodies so they did have their jewelry buy to get one free so at first i saw these two earrings let me show y'all so these y'all know i love me a gold chunky hoop i saw these like imagine these with the red lip we on to something then i found these these are cute and I think both of them were $5.99. I don't be looking at prices. That'd be the issue. Was $6.99. $6.99 for these. And then this pair was $5.99. And then I also got this. Which one came out free? $4.99, I think. Oh. So I ended up getting. Y'all know they be putting the cheapest one for free. So I got this anklet set because i'd love me a little anklet and all my anklets turn so quickly so i was like let me just get this it's cute one has hearts one has butterflies cute and then you guys saw i picked up this pajama set this was the last one and it's actually sold out online so i'll put the link down below but i don't know if it's gonna be in stock to focus on me so this was the pajama set it's like cheetah print and it's sheer, it's mesh see-through as y'all can see. And I did get it in a size large because I was the only size left. But if it, I'll probably have to take it in a size just a little bit because the elastic did make it a little large. Ooh, this strap feels so comfortable. And this is a top, it's like a baby doll top. But I think this is so cute. I don't really have much pajama sets. So I was like, oh, let me go ahead and get this. I'm about to wash it so I can actually wear it tonight. But I'm about to get myself together i'm going to wash my hair tonight i decided to just record like my signature wash day because this is going to be what i do all the time when i don't have to try new products when i'm just like i know i want my hair to be popping so i'm actually going to record that as a separate video so i'll check in with you guys maybe after i wash my hair yeah what's this calling me uh 262 Wisconsin. I don't know nobody from Wisconsin. Better stop playing with me. Better, yeah. Mad at the fact that it's, but this shit bigger. Mad at me, mad at my name. Hey, you guys. It's Thursday, November 18th, and I'm started recording my wash day plus styling video last night but once that deep conditioner hit my scalp baby <laughs> your girl got tired so i went to sleep with my deep conditioner in woke up this morning uh, recorded like me rinsing out my deep conditioner me twisting my hair and now my hair are in these luscious beautiful juicy twists and i'm about to go on with my day so if you guys are interested in seeing this video it will be up after this vlog maybe monday i don't know i really didn't do my schedule for next week yet but it might be up the day after this vlog so make sure you guys stay tuned bell notifications on so you guys can see when this video drops because when i tell y'all 
y'all want to see this video y'all be like it's here for me and it be to hear for me too so make sure y'all pull up and y'all watch that video so y'all can see how i achieve my signature twist out but my it's kind of dirty what is this <laughs> but my skin is peeling a little bit more to dream y'all can see it's like tight about to peel 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 my neck is peeling too i don't know if y'all can see but today i am doing some work right now and then i need to go to home goods and marshall's the one in new rochelle y'all know that's my jam because i need some new pillows i don't know if i mentioned it earlier in this vlog but my neck has been hurting just because my pillows are old i've been putting this off for the longest but i'm just gonna go get it done now i'll probably stop at the stop and shop over there because there are some groceries i wanted to get yesterday that i wasn't able to get so i'm gonna go get that today but you guys i wanted to give you guys an update on this fragrance this energetically new york fragrance that i picked up from zara yesterday baby i need the full size i knew what i was doing by picking up the full size at first but i was like, i'm not sure if i'm gonna like it it's no tester i'm just trusting my sis kyra and baby i need the full size so i'm gonna return this roller ball and i'm gonna get the full size i'm not gonna do that today i'll do that another day who's looking for me so my manager is honestly the sweetest like <laughs> but um what was i saying yeah so that's what i'm gonna do today um that's what i did to my hair and i think that's about it i was trying to think of like other videos i could do while my skin is peeling i didn't mind doing this video while my skin is peeling because i'm like baby concentrate on the hair not my skin okay so i'm gonna think and see what else i could do because i'm also trying to um pre-record for vlogmas i need to start that once this peel is over and done with so that's gonna be my focus next week to just pre-record for vlogmas majority of my videos for the rest of november are like mapped out so i just have to like record them and then vlogmas i need to plan them out record them and edit them so that i don't have to edit every day during vlogmas because your girl will <laughs> be deceased so yes that's what's going on right now i will check in with you guys once i am getting ready to head to the store so yeah hey guys so it's a little later i just got ready i'm about to head to home goods marshall's stop and shop period and a beauty supply store because i need to get acetone to soak my nails off because i am gonna go get my nails done tomorrow so i have to soak that off but let me show you guys my outfit really quickly boom so here's the fit yes i'm going outside with my hair just like this just your mother i have on this brown rose sweatsuit and my alma bb louis vuitton bag and i am wearing my air max 90 bacon so this is the fit and i wanted to show you guys real quick my fragrance for today my fragrance is the zara energetically new york energetically new york my fragrance i don't know i might keep the roller ball i don't know but i'm about to head out now so that i could go do what i have to do and come home before it gets too too dark outside so yeah let's go Yeah, this stop and shop luxury okay glow in the dark freaking registers everything i need to go back to my zip code because this is not my lifestyle i'm not used to stop and shopping in this fancy <laughs> Just 
always want to prove, but it's dangerous. You got something real, not basic. Why is this so far, man? You want to get with me, stop. Okay, so I'm back home. I want to show you guys what I picked up real quick. So I got a new candle because I realized I had no more candles. So this is a candle that I picked up. I showed you guys in the store. It's this Trio Santal candle. It smells so good. It doesn't have the notes on it though. But it smells so good. And it was $12.99. about to light that up right now. I also found this book that I showed y'all is Complex Sneaker of the Year. Y'all know <laughs> I'm a sneakerhead. <laughs> so I had to get it. This is $20, but it has like the history and the detailing of like so many different sneakers. So Hibachi's, Air Max Plus. It's me knowing all of these sneakers before even flipping the page. Herestos. Shocks, Dunks, so many different sneakers in here. So it makes for a nice like table book, but also like a knowledgeable book as well. So I'm gonna keep this in my stash. I'm really excited about this. This needs to be like in a cage locked up. And the original price is oh twenty five dollars. So even regular price oh thirty five. It say thirty five on the book. It say twenty five on the sticker. So which one is it? But either way, I paid twenty dollars and I'm really happy about this purchase. And what else did I get? I got four pillows, which I'm about to put up soon. Where's my receipt? I feel kind of confused on how they spent a hundred dollars. Just a little confused. And I just swipe my car per usual, not asking no questions. Let me see. Mm. Oh yeah. And I got um like the cases for my new pillows. The thing you put on before the pillowcase. I got some of those. So I'm running my sheets and everything now. My bed is just like bare. <laughs> so this is kind of a look. Like, why don't I never record videos this way? We could do this. So we could do that. We could do this. So we could do that. We could do this. So we could do that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm about to eat something real quick, finish uploading tomorrow's video, and I will check in with you guys once my bed is made. Hey you guys, it's Friday, November 19th. Happy Friday, and it's 3.05 p.m. Today's flying by. But when I tell y'all everything that can go wrong today has been going wrong, but I'm still like in a good mood if that makes sense. So that's what's going on i just soaked my nails off and cut them down because i'm going to get them done today they look crazy but what did i have to tell y'all hmm i had a couple things to chat to y'all about but literally forgot because my mind has been all over the place today so yeah today's gonna be the last day of this vlog because i was editing it listen i had like three hours worth of footage and i was able to get this vlog to about an hour okay so i'm like let me just wrap it up here and we'll start next week's vlog today because i am going to get my nails done and whatnot so that's what's going on but i wanted to unbox two things on camera before i ended the vlog i did get a pr package from y'all see that tph taraji p hansen hair care so let me open it up and share it with you guys i like sharing things like 
this with you guys because none of this would be possible without you guys. I'm sure I tell you guys this all the time, but it's really the truth, okay? Y'all be holding it down for the girl. So I be holding it down for y'all. I be doing giveaways in my vlogs. So make sure you guys tune into my vlogs, especially during Vlogmas. I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways. So make sure that you guys are tuning in for Vlogmas. Starting December 1st, 2021 at 12 p.m. noon. Oh, so this is the card. Oh my God, it has a handwritten note on it. Thank you for being a part of our hashtag hair chameleon family. We hope you enjoy the products to celebrate all of your, all that your hair can do. Wishing you a fabulous holiday season, the TPH team. This is so friggin cute and they have this qr code so you guys can scan this to learn more about the tph brand so inside oh my yeah <laughs> this just made my day y'all know if y'all know me y'all know how i feel about this conditioner right here this and make it rain conditioner from tph is that girl i'm so hype and i have the honey fresh shampoo which i like and then they sent over a ride or die detangling leave-in conditioner i think i have one of these already so if i do this will be in an upcoming giveaway and i got the curl for days curl cream i definitely have one of these so this will be in a giveaway and i got their glow up oil base what is it a pure oil blend so you guys know i don't use oil in my hair so this will be in the giveaway as well but thank you tph i love 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 your product and then i got a pair of boots because y'all know i'm always shopping right so let me open them up and hopefully they fit because i told you guys early in this vlog that i got those cassady or cassidy boots and they ain't fit so I sent those back. Still waiting for my refund. Yukes. But I went ahead and I was on their website because they had 25% off of like winter stuff or winter shoes. So I was like, let me see what I can find because you know your girl needs to build her boot collection anyways, right? So packaging, well like wrap from Yukes. And in case you guys don't know, I don't know if I said it earlier in this vlog. Yukes is an Italian brand they just i don't know if it's just but they are under net a porter if you guys are familiar with net a porter but i got these boots it's from their brand i think the brand is like 88 ukes or 8 by ukes or something like that but i love these boots let's hope they fit can y'all tell that shoes make me happy can y'all tell that shoes make me happy so these are the boots I think these are so cute and they also come in black. They have like this scrunch detailing on the front, which I love. And they have a zip in the back, which we spoke about early in this vlog. So let me try them on. I think I got these in a size 9. Yeah, I got a size 39. I think I selected 9 on the website because they didn't have 8.5, which is my usual size. So let's see. Ooh, babes, they fit. And I don't want to say they're too big because I don't have on socks. But they, let me put the other side on. Boots right here. This is some motherfucking shit, babes. And these boots weren't even expensive at all. Like, after the 25% off and shipping it, I don't know if I paid for shipping. But, like, taxes or whatever, I think I paid, like, 200 which is not bad. It's like Jeffrey Campbell prices. That's cheaper than Jeffrey Campbell prices. They don't look big. Let me put on a pair of socks. Put the, the Nike sock. That's the real sock test. Okay, with the sock, it's not too bad. Okay, so after further determination with the sock, it's fine. Let me show y'all. Oh, even with this bag, baby. Baby, a full olive monochromatic look coming soon. So, yes, love these boots. So happy with this purchase and this is gonna be the end of the vlog these items i just showed you guys everything mentioned in today's vlog will be linked down below so make sure you guys check it out if you guys pick up anything that i showed you guys in this vlog make sure you tag me on instagram at kinesthetic underscore and tag my hashtag hashtag influence me so that i can see what the girls been loving what the girls been picking up how was looking on y'all how y'all are styling it so please make sure you guys tag me and that's it for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's kind of long but your girl 
girl did a lot this week and i am tired so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure you guys comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of this vlog was before you guys head out make sure y'all subscribe give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and until my next video which will be tomorrow i'll see you guys later love you